Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and a couple days ago I showed you guys how to create a custom firmware for your iOS device. Now this was for iOS 4 of course, and uh, that was Mac only, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Windows. So in order to do it, you're going to go to this website, I will have a link to that in the more info, and you're just going to go right here where it says Snowbreeze and click download, and then just click here to download. And then all you're going to do is just plug in your device, and then open it and it should automatically ask you if you want to give it administrator privileges if it doesn't then you have to right click and do run as administrator and then just click OK to this and then go next and then go expert mode next and then you have to browse for your firmware now before I continue I'll let you know what devices this works for so as of now this only works for the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, and the iPod Touch second generation non-MC. So now that I have that out of the way, I'm just going to browse for my ISPW. Mine is on my desktop, and it's 4.0 right there. Now, if you can't find yours, just search for it. Both Windows and Mac have the option to search for anything. So you can just search for it and find it and drag it to your desktop or whatever. And then once it's verified you can just click the arrow down here and then I'm going to take you through each step. So for general there is activate the iPhone. Now if you are on a factory unlock or you are on an official carrier do not have this checked. Only have this checked if you are on an unofficial carrier and you rely on an unlock and then enable background wallpaper obviously enables the background wallpaper for older devices uh, same goes for enable battery percentage and enable native multitasking make an ISPW nor only that's only if you want to create or change uh, your boot logo or your recovery logo and just leave the root partition as it was so, so here it just tells you about the unlock and it tells you where you can get it and everything if you don't know how to get it I will have a link in a callout and in an annotation on that callout to my video on how to unlock your iPhone 3G or 3G. And then next, and then obviously you want to install Cydia. Uh, it even says Cydia is required. And then Rock, do not install Rock uh, because basically it just has a lot of issues with it and bugs and it's just really crappy in my opinion. So try not to install Rock and then click next once you're done with that. Here uh, is the custom apps section. Here you can select deb files which are basically the same exact thing that City installs and then here you can actually download packages from different sources. Here you can add sources and then uh, once you've figured all that stuff out you can click next and then here you can pick your boot and recovery logo. I'm gonna disable both and then basically you're good to go and all you have to do after that is click build ISPW. Okay guys, so now my custom firmware has been built and this is the important part. You uh, have to already be jailbroken on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3 and you cannot be jailbroken with Spirit. You have to be jailbroken with something else. And then once you get to this screen, just don't even worry about this where it asks if your iPhone is already jailbroken. Just hit DFU mode and then follow the instructions. So I'm going to follow them with you guys. So my iPhone is plugged in and uh, it's powering off right now. So now it's off and I'm just going to hit start. So we have to prepare to hold the power and the home button here. So now I'm holding both of them together and we're going to continue doing this for a total of 10 seconds. So we have 4 seconds left. 2, 1. And now you can let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. And you need to hold it for about 10 seconds. and iTunes should pop up right here and now Snowbreeze says that we have entered DFU mode successfully and uh, like I said iTunes pops up and it says that your iPhone has been detected and it is in recovery mode so it's actually in DFU mode but it's basically the same thing and in order to select that custom firmware we just created you're gonna hold down shift and click restore and now you're going to browse for it. Mine's on my desktop and it's Snowbreeze iPhone 3G. And then just click open. And now I'm going to click stop because uh, I am already jailbroken on 4.0 and I don't need to do this. But I hope this tutorial helped you guys and please subscribe. This is ICU signing out.